I fuck with a lot of women um, in the lat in my life, like a lot, hundreds. Uh, I've approached thousands of women in my life, thousands. I fucked hundreds of women in my life. I have uh, swiped right and matched with hundreds, if not thousands. I've matched with thousands of women on Tinder. Here are some of the things that I've seen. One time, uh, this was back in the Jeep before attending knowledge shit, back in my thought days, you know, I met this girl, she's from Tulsa. Um, we fucked once or twice. Then uh, she, she, got a, she got a nigga and she, was, she came down to Oklahoma City and she was like telling me how much she loved a nigga. She was like, I love this nigga. Like, he's everything to me. He means so much, you know, like, He's amazing. And whoop whoop, she talking about him. I'm like, well, I'm like, man, I guess she really love this nigga, right? <laughs> Five minutes later, as soon as she got off the phone, do call. She talking, yeah, baby, I love you. Five minutes later, when she hung up uh, off the off the phone, I'm hitting it from the back. Boom, boom, boom. You know, like gushy, right? <laughs> gushy. And in the middle of me, me smashing. I guess she grows a conscious and she pulls up her pen. Her pen and she was like, "Oh my god, I can't do this. I can't do this." And she runs out the door. She runs out the door, um, and I never, I never see her again, right? And I'm like, "Damn, I think she like love this nigga, right? <laughs> I think she love this nigga." And the chaotic nature. The up and downs, the back and forth with women. You may have been in a situation to where you heard a woman say, I want a dude that's controlling. I want a dude that can control me, but not controlling. And you be like, what? I understand what she mean, but it's like, what? Really? That's confusing as fuck. Right. You may you may hear a situation where you may see a situation where a girl be like, I just want to be loved. I just want to be held. I just want to be like adored. I want to do that. Treat me right. Then why are you fucking with, you know, dirty dick, dirty dick Donald. Right. Like giving you raw disease dick. Right? <laughs> nigga a crib, you know, nigga crib from Prince Hall, you know, and you, you see these things, you see the. The, the up and down nature or the chaotic nature of women. I was dating this girl, um, met on Tinder, swipe, swipe, right? Real beautiful. She's like, whoo, banging. I love them tall. I love a tall, I love a tall, thin, beautiful face girl with a medium booty. That is just, that's my everything. This is what this girl was, very banging. Uh, she met on Tinder. We talked whoop whoop whoop. She's like, hey, come through. I need some dick tonight. I'm like, for sure. Came through, gave a dick. Great. Two weeks later, I'm going to Florida. Don't really know her that well. She's like, ah, oh, you going to Florida? Um, from New Orleans? Yeah, it's like a three hour, three hour ride to the beach. I want to come. Cool. I come pick her up. We go to the beach. I'm taking pictures up. Pop, 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 pop. She like, hey, can you send this sign up? Can you send those, those pictures to me? I'm like, yeah, what's your, uh, I'm, I sent it to your snap. What's your snap name? She was like, my snap name is my real name. And I'm like, okay, then. that's what's up. She like, Isaac, what's my name? I'm like, see what happened was, anyway. <laughs> I forgot the girl's name. But anyway, we got over. She got over. We, we go back to the hotel. I go pick up the food for both of us. When I'm picking up the food, I see this fine chocolate girl. Fine chocolate girl. And uh, I get back to get the food, go back to the hotel. Baby girl is like, uh, I'm t I tell baby girl, like, man, this is beautiful chocolate girl. She like, you should have told her come through. You know I'm with that freaky shit. You know I like that freaky shit. I'm like, okay, that's what's up. You know, I'll keep that in the back of my mind, right? Because I like that freaky shit too. You know, like two girls, two beautiful girls. You, you for a chaser. You know, you the shot. Like, eh, I love that shit, right? I deserve a threesome for my birthday. <laughs> you know, <laughs> I do. And on every other day of the week, right? So like, I'm, I'm with the shit. I, I love it. Two weeks later, I'm like, I'm going to set up a threesome. It's going to be a surprise threesome. It's going to be great. 
don't do surprise threesomes, right? <laughs> Side note, don't do surprise threesomes. It's never worked for me. Um, but anyway, so I hit the, uh, I'm like, I'm gonna do the surprise threesome. You know, I'm looking for a girl on Tinder. Boom, 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 boom. I'm in New Orleans. You know, my girl at the time, she had a she had a girlfriend. You know, my girl had a girlfriend. She won my girl. I'm just using that for the sake of term. My girl had a girlfriend. They was going through some problems, fussing and fighting. Her girlfriend was banging, right? Her girlfriend was bad. I was dropping her off one time, and I saw a girl. I'm like, God damn. Like, damn. Like, when I tell y'all, man, girl's fine. Girl, fine. So, anyway, um, they breaking up. So, I'm like, she gets some pussy, some new pussy. You know, we fuck it, be like. Damn, be dope. So, so uh, uh, I'm swiping right on Tinder. I see this fine girl, like fine, 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 banging girl that I met like maybe a week ago, a week earlier. And so I, I slide in a DM. She three miles away in New Orleans, right? You know, for some, right, real close to where my girl stay, to where the girl I fuck with stay. I'm like, wow, this is this is hella convenient, right? Freaky girl, she fine. Like I'm, I'm, I'm chopping it up. She down with it. I'm like, okay, I'm gonna go to her, her IG, and then I'm gonna send her the pictures. I'm, I'm telling her, I'm gonna go to your IG. What's your IG? Um, she give me an IG. I'm gonna send you the pictures of my girl and my dick, so you know what's going down, what how it's gonna be, or whatever. And so you can decide. She like, yeah, for sure, for sure, for sure. She give me an IG. I go through an IG. I'm scrolling through an IG. What do I see? I see down at the bottom. The same picture, oh my God, it's my girl's girlfriend. God damn, what? That's crazy, right? <laughs> my girl's girlfriend that she breaking up with was going to be the surprise threesome. <laughs> I immediately back off of the of her, of her um, inbox. I don't hit her up no more. Whatever, we, me and my girl, we just gonna fuck tonight. She, my girl, she come through. I thought it was hilarious as fuck. I thought it was ironic and I told her about it. She didn't think it was hilarious as fuck. She thought it was like, she was very upset. And she looked at me with a, a, a really intense look and she said, nigga, I know I'm a stripper, but what gave, you, what gave you that idea? What gave you the idea that I would be cool with some shit like that? And I'm thinking, you, you told me that, right? <laughs> I learned it from watching you for the older people. <laughs> that don't drug shit. But my point in these two stories is this. With women, there can be a back and forth, a bisexual nature, a bi, a bi uh, a polar nature, <laughs> a wishy-washy, a back and forth. The average female's mind is very chaotic. It's like I want to, I, like I said before, I want to do that's controlling, um, that can control me, but not controlling. I want a, a soft, gentle, gangster nigga that will shoot shots sideways, right? And so for a lot of dudes, it's confusing. So, and evolution is the reason for that, right? The reason a lot of women want that. But I'm not going to go into that in this video. I'm going to tell you how to deal with women or my philosophy on how you deal with the nature of women. Here's two things that I've done. One is I put myself first. I take in consideration what women do. I appreciate what women want and I want to please women. However, my desires come first. What I want to do come first. My life, my desires, my dreams, my goals, that's the number one thing. That's the number one important thing. I put me first because I can never leave me. You can leave, right? And we see in the divorce rates, everything that's going on, that's the mentality that you have to take in this day and age. And even back in the G, that's the mentality. The number two thing is this. Lower your motherfucking expectations. Lord and bitches, right? Because I don't expect pussy from women. So if I get pussy from women, I'm winning. I don't expect her to call me back. So if she call me back, I'm winning. I expect her to stab me. So if she don't stab me, I'm winning. 
right? Lord them bitches. Anyway, Lapos Logic, tell me what y'all think. Two things. I want y'all to remember it. Lower your expectations and put yourself first. All right, love y'all. Peace.